collect all of the data, look at it, just like the sort command. It's got to read it and everything, sort it, and then it'll write it out. Whereas other things like grep can be taking in and putting out at the same time. And so they would be, you know, you could have progress on more parts of the pipeline at the same time in different spots. It does have a lot of variables because I know there's a lot of yeah. commands that are designed good for threading and some are not. Exactly, yeah. It gets into a lot of combinations and permutations. Yeah. And that's where the only way to know is to set up a test to make sure. That's a really good point, but I'm glad you brought it up. Any other questions? Thank you. Until I was in the car room. And next month, when is the 2016 version of the book coming out? Uh, <laughs> if I do a 2016, I'll probably be finishing up in December. I'm thinking, uh, right now, I'm, I'm, it's a toss up do I want to do 2016 or wait till 2017 and get more inputs? I've already got a long list of, of additions and improvements I'd like to make to the book. Have you ever heard the website called Tronix? No. Benchmarking website. Um, some guy that I think in California started it. He does mostly Linux news, but he also did, uh, created a uh, Tronix test suite, which is basically a benchmark suite. And um, look it up if you get a chance. The website, the guy pretty much I think is his full time job now. Uh, P H O R O N I X. Yeah, I don't know if it's got ROM or not. Yeah, if anybody has any uh, questions or about shell scripting or whatever, uh, feel free to come by the table and we can have a one on one. Maybe I can give you a suggestion. Do you usually use most of this in your work then? Yes, I have a copy of, of the book on my laptop and I usually have it open. And it's a good reminder. I wrote the book, but I didn't have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot to memorize. Well, he was more to just understand the concepts and applying them. Oh. Yeah, and a lot of things. I was, I was deep into researching something. I read, read out my, my uh, results. And then uh, I slept a couple nights. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it happens sometimes. But uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun to, to write the book. And now I'm just trying to get the the word out that the book exists and it's available. Yes? So what tool did you use to write the book in? I use Microsoft Word. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. Because that's all my publisher would accept. Really? If it, if it had been, otherwise, it would have been... Uh, Scribus, maybe. Uh, either Scribes or uh, LibreOffice. Yeah. Uh, did they require a specific version? No. Right? Gee, use tap. Tap. Yeah. Because that's what most publishers use. Used to. Used to. Yeah. Used to. Used to. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them have like, standardized on different <coughs> So, <coughs> can you tell us more about Book Locker? Like, what, what it is, oh. what do they do? Um, book Locker is a publish it yourself type of of place okay. where um, you know, they support a very wide range of, of books. They give you all sorts of uh, authors' aids as, aids as far as um, how to write a book, how to market a book, um, keys to good writing, things like that. Okay. They, they, they support the, the person a lot, and they're good people that have published two books from them, from them so far, and they've been great both times. What are, the, what are your other titles? My other title is 
obeying God up hill. Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. Any other uh, uh, self-publishing uh, publishers did you consider prior to them? Back eight years ago when I wrote my novel, I did a lot of research on that. And uh, Book Locker is the one that I sold on, but I must have looked at three or four dozen different outfits. Wow. And uh, I just, Book Locker came highly recommended, and uh, I can highly recommend it myself because they're great. They're, they're straight shooters. Uh, and what they say they do, they're going to do. That's super. Thanks again, Ed. Okay. Cool.